Hello everybody, my name is Rolak, and welcome back to Pokemon Still Silver. In the last episode, we made it into the Rocket HQ, defeated quite a lot of grunts, and actually obtained a password that we are going to be using to get into a boss's uh, headquarters, and it seems to be right around the corner over there. Uh, real quick, actually, is there anything up here? Yes, there is. There's an item. Thief! Don't we already have Thief? I feel like we already have Thief. I don't know, there's so many Dark-type TMs in this game. Uh, thief. No, we have taunt. We have two taunts. Thief. Uh, user attacks and steals the foe's held item simultaneously. Can't steal an item if it holds an item. Alright. So yeah, thief. I actually used that, um, to grab a, uh, black belt in Leaf Green against a certain trainer that had a, uh, black belt. So that was a handy tool to use. Um, does what's-his-face appear in here? I think he does, but he doesn't actually battle us. So let's see. Yep, there he is. So you're messing with them again. <laughs> Must real like Team Rocket so much. Tell me, who was the guy in the cape who used Dragon type Pokemon? A Pokemon were no match at all. I don't care that I lost. I can beat up, beat him by getting stronger Pokemon. That's what he said that bothers me. He told me that I don't love and trust any po my Pokemon enough. Furious that I lost to a bleeding heart like him. <laughs> don't have time for the likes of you. The more you down here. <laughs> I feel like your presence here isn't really all that needed, considering that I have pretty much everything out of or under control. Grab ourselves an Ultra Ball there, not bad. And then we'll go ahead and force close. Passwords. Eradicate tail. Okay. <laughs> We've been waiting for you. So you are Ethan. Me? You don't know who I am? It's me, Giovanni. The majestic Giovanni himself. <laughs> Uh, I don't sound anything like Giovanni. I don't even look like Giovanni. How come? I've worked so hard to mimic him. I am a Team Rocket executive. You must be trying to sneak into the radio transmitter room. Well, that's not going to happen. That room is protected with a special password. The password is Hail Giovanni. Surprised to hear it from me? Knowing the password won't help you, though. Door won't open unless I say the password. It only reacts to my voice. Alright, finding off with Executive Petrol. Where is him on the... the wiki? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Pretty sure it's just a bunch of Zubats coughing. All right, Petrol! He's going to be starting out with his level 22 Zubat with the moves Astonish, Bite, Wing Attack, and Confuse Ray. Hopefully, Stagnox can take care of him. Okay, good. <laughs> really wasn't looking forward to having to fight a goddamn Zubat with this thing. There we go, level 30. Looking good. I think everybody's level 30 now, ain't they? Let's take a look. Yeah, everybody's level 30. It's not a great level to be at this point in the game, but hey, what can you do? He's sending out his coughing next. Uh, coughing. Level 22 as well. The moves Smog, Smokescreen, Assurance, and Self-Destruct. So, you might want to take care of it before it takes care of itself. And, in some cases, you. Because Self-Destruct does a lot of damage. <laughs> Thankfully, we can probably just take care of it using, uh, Confusion. There we go. Not too tough for a... Rocket executive, but hey, what can you expect? All right, the last Pokemon is gonna be Radicate. Uh, d -d -d -d, who are we gonna say? Let's hit our skull, skull crack and let's get him some action. Haven't given any action for him yet lately. All right, Radicate, level 24 with the moves Hyper Fang, Sucker Punch, Scary Face, and Crunch. It's actually a pretty tough looking thing. It's got the ability Guts. Thankfully, we have got the ability Intimidate, which lowers its attack, so it's not gonna be too much of a problem. Let's hit it with a bite. Yeah, look at that. Scary Face is going to lower our speed, so that's not great. Fang, hopefully, uh, Hyper, Hyper Fang does half the damage. Hyper Fang does half your... I think it's half of your health is damage. No, but it's just a no type of... Okay, it's Super Fang that I'm thinking of. There we go. Nice chunk of experience. All right. I, I can't do anything. Giovanni, please forgive me. Can't get the right tone from this guy's voice. Since the Spanning Team Rocket three years ago, our Giovanni has been missing. But we're certain he's uh, waiting for the right time to our revival. <laughs> you won't change the fact that you're unable to get into the radio transmitter room. You need my voice to unlock it. He just runs to the fucking wall. How did this guy get becoming an executive? Hey, old Giovanni. Mirko is mimicking the voice of Petrol. He may be able to... All right, a uh, quick thing. Who is out in the front? Um, who are we going to have out in the front? Well, let's switch back to Flare. 
Actually, you know what? Let's switch back to Yamoja. She's going to be in use for this uh, next fight here. Password is Hail Giovanni. Marco screamed the past. <laughs> screamed the password. I'm sorry. Mimicking the voice of Petrol. Password recognition system unlocked the door. What a little shit. <laughs> Hold it right there. We can't let a brat like you do as you please forever. It'll hurt Team Rocket's pride over and over again, making it less than you see. So it's time to finish you. However strong you may be, if the two of us fight at the same time, you'll have no chance of winning. Don't you agree? <laughs> Sorry, baby. Now, get ready to be thrashed. Hold it! Two-on-one battle? That's so unfair. Typical of Team Rocket to be so sneaky. Allow me to join the battle. What? You had an accomplice? Where is your sense of dignity? As interim... Interim boss in place of Giovanni, I'll show you how wrong it is to meddle with Team Rocket. Alright, doing a uh, two on two battle with Ariana and a Team Rocket Grunt. Uh, Executive Ariana, to be specific. Uh, she's kind of like the co leader of the current Team Rocket. Alright, so Lance has a level 40 Dragonite, which is illegal, but whatever. Oh, kind of intimidating as well. Okay, so Ariana and the Rocket Grunt, I guess. Uh, Ariana's going to be sending out her Arbok, the int ability to in intimidate. And with the moves Glare, cr Crunch, oh god, Poison Sting, and Wrap. And then the Rocker Gun's gonna be sending out her Drowsy with Disable, Confusion, Headbutt, and Poison Gas. Uh, hopefully we can... Okay, bye! Asshole. <laughs> actually, no, I think they're actually focusing on to, um, Arbok. Or, no, they're focusing on Dragonite, so that's hopefully good enough. Or just hit me, because why not? It's a good chance to show off, um... We said, yes, it's a good chance to go off the Shell Bell, at least. Would have been helpful if I managed to KO it, but whatever. Just show off head, er, the Shell Bell. Do a little, oh, that's actually a good amount of damage. And we, for a very slow animation, heal back a bit of health. It's not a whole lot, but it's enough. No, oh, well, there goes Fly, okay. All right, she's gonna be sending out her Gloom next. Gloom is level 25 with the moves Sweet Scent, Mega Drain, Acid, and Sleep Powder. Uh, we're gonna hit it with an Ice Beam. Wait, does that actually affect Gloom as well? Oh, it does. I actually never do that, huh? So not only does Twister have the chance to flinch, it also hits uh, two Pokemon at the same time. I never actually knew that, huh? Ooh, that's not good. Gloom's actually not that bad with Special attack and uh, encoding overloaded. No, 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 no. You do not overload the encoding now. We've been through so much for this past several, several days of recording. You are not going to fuck up the recording now. That is not going to happen. No, I refuse to have that. You have thunder. Why? Oh yeah, the Grimer, level 20 with Mud Slap, Disable, Minimize, and Sludge. It's not that big of a deal, it's down already. You do not get to overload right now, because I am not going through with that bullshit again. You are going to be perfectly fine, like you always have before, and record the goddamn game. This is the first time in, I think, forever since that has popped up. So, hopefully that's the last time it pops up, because that's going to be super annoying if it keeps popping up. <sighs> Cool. Anyway, all right. Last Pokemon, Murkrow, level 27. Good lord. Uh, with the moves Nightshade, Wing Attack, Astonish, and Pursuit. Kind of annoying, but just fucking. Okay, you have Lance with his Dragonite here. I don't think you're gonna be losing this fight anytime soon. And look at that. <laughs> it's level 40 for God's sake. He also has Hyper Beam along with it, so it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> you really are strong. It's too bad. If you were to join Team Rocket, you could become an executive. <laughs> and the, the grunt doesn't say anything. But that's fine. The broadcast experience was a total success. Success. I can't talk right. Doesn't matter ha what happens to this hideout now. We have much bigger plans. You'll come to appreciate Team Rocket's true power soon enough. Enjoy yourself while you can. <laughs> Every trainer in the Rocket hideout has currently disappeared, so there's no more trainers to fight. Sorry, Ethan. I saw how well you were doing, so I just hung back. Now, now all there is left to do is turn on, off that odd radio signal. It's this machine that's causing all the problems. I don't see a switch on it. We have no choice. We have to make all the electrode faint. 
I should stop this machine from transmitting that strange signal. It's no fault of electrode, so it makes me feel sad. Ethan, let's split the job. So there are three electrodes to fight here. Uh, each of them are level 23. I don't see any reason to keep all these fights in, so I'm just going to cut out every single battle. <laughs> Alright, thankfully no, none of them blew up, which I'm pretty sure some of them do have self-destruct, or explode, one or the other. That odd signal has finally stopped. Lake should be back to normal. You're the best. Let me thank you on behalf of the Pokemon. Oh yes, you should take this. Found here, but I don't have any need for it. Team HM05. Yet another HM that we can use. I don't think we can use it right now, but we can use it. That's Whirlpool. Teach it to a Pokemon they had to cross water, but keep this in mind. You can use that out of battle only with the badge from Mahogany Gym. Ethan, the journey of becoming the Pokemon champion is long and difficult. Knowing that, will you keep going? I see. No, you're right. If you were to give up that easily, you would never have chased that dream in the first place. I look forward to seeing you again. I didn't even, I didn't even really, like, take it. I just... I, I, I was doing a delivery for Professor Elm, and then all of a sudden he said, Oh, why don't you, why don't you go do the, 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 the league challenge thing? You know, that thing. All the kids are doing it nowadays. It's just like, okay, I guess I will. Now, uh, interesting fact. Uh, once you actually clear out the Rocket H here, and I think if you enter it back in... Uh, no, it does not seem to be that way. Oh, well. Uh, eventually, somebody will take over the shop and will, you know, sell actual items this time. Alright, now I'm curious about something. So, it said, he said that the lake would be back to normal. So, I'm, I'm it's, it's Friday right now, so I'm not too sure if it's going to be, you know, proper. However... I want to see if the lake is going to be back to normal on Wednesdays. Okay, yeah, it's raining, which is normal on every day except for Wednesday. So, I am going to go into the house. And through the power of time manipulation... Uh, where is... Time? Um, where do I go to change the time settings again on my computer? Uh, time and language. Um... So Change. Uh, it is the fifth. Change it. Close that down. And you should read Wednesday now. Indeed you do, even though it's not. And... Okay, thank God. Good Lord. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. Ah, oh, it's so, it's so nice. Okay, great. So, with on Wednesdays, uh, the Lake of Rage is actually a lot more calmer. I don't know why it's Wednesday specifically, and I think you are actually a new trainer that we can actually fight. Uh, let's test out Skull Kraken. Haven't seen enough action of him, so... Yes, Red Gyarados? <laughs> that sounds scary! It must be Red with Rage! Me? I'm not angry or anything, but let's battle. Yeah, I wonder where it is. <laughs> so yes, once the uh, Lake of Rage... Uh, oh god, from Reap, really. Okay, so, once the Lake of Rage goes... After you clear the Rocket Hideout... Um, what is it? The Lake of Rage will... What the fuck was that? I don't even think that appeared on the capture, but whatever. Once you defeat the Rocket HQ, the Lake of Rage will go back to normal. Being, as such, uh, on Wednesdays, it will stop raining. For God's sakes. As such, if you go back to the Lake of Rage on Wednesdays, uh, the Lake of Rage will actually change. Uh, there are certain... Um, don't use charge. Okay, you're using char uh, spark. I was going to say spark, whatever. Uh... So, uh, during Wednesdays, the lake is actually uh, a lot more shallow, I should say. Um, of course, you're paralyzed, for God's sakes. Hit it with a bite. Just going to keep using charge. Going to be an idiot about it. Uh, so, we'll be exploring the lake fully this episode because uh, we actually have the chance to do so now. Thankfully, with time manipulation and whatnot. There we go. Should take care of you, no problem. There we go. Nice little check of experience. Nine tails. That would be helpful if we had any water type move on Skull Kraken. We do not, unfortunately, at the moment. Wait, you were here. You were here at any time, weren't you? I feel like you were here at any time because um, it doesn't say Wednesday next to your little name there. Oh well. So yeah. Uh, aside from actually uh, trainers, there are as well a couple of items that we can actually uh, find here. Oh god, we need cut. That is stupid. That we need cut. Ninetales is especially defensive, so that's going to be an issue. Thankfully, it's flamethrower, so it's not going to be doing that much. So that alternative path that we can go towards the left of the Lake and Rage, that will get us to those little ledges. That area is completely useless now. Gonna take care of Ninetales. 
where actually can we go? <laughs> Not really being clear on that. Actually, no, we can go on that alternate path, which is actually good because I'm going to be going down that path eventually anyways. Nice little level up for both Stagnox and Yamoja. Let's learn Takedown. Um, what do you have? I, uh, yeah, we'll get rid of your attack. Why not? It's not really all that useful on us anyway. Any more direct, hard-hitting moves there. Alright, so... I think there are also some new dowsing machine items for us to find, so we'll go ahead and be using that soon enough. Uh, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Hurry up. Alright. Is there anything for us? I know there's one just over here. Full heal. Very nice. Oh, it's doing the glitch again where it's like playing the surfing audio after you've already gone off. It's really weird. Okay, where? Okay, that trainer's down there. Okay, that's good to know. Alright, uh, is there no actual, like, item around here? I guess there isn't. Huh, alright. Well, uh, with that being the case, I am going to go uh, back to Mahogany Town, grab our, our Tata friend, and get back to cutting some trees. So I'll see you guys in just a moment. Should also mention once you uh, beat out, uh, once you get rid of Team Rocket, uh, this guy will actually return to his post. Got chased from my post from these Team Rocket thugs, then they just disappeared. Something apparently destroyed their hideout. One more thing, I found this under the counter. Makes me uncomfortable. Could I give it to you? The team TM36. What is TM36 again? It contains Sludge Bomb. It's not only damages the target, but also poisons it sometimes. See? Doesn't it make you feel uncomfortable? That's a really good item. Or er, move. Can we actually teach that? I know we can teach it through um, Crobat or uh, Wayne, but it's not really super useful on him. Eh, yeah, everybody but Wayne. It's kind of unfortunate. Oh, well. It's not like it's a bad move. It's just not the best move to put on uh, a Crobat. That's not good. Should probably be selling those. Uh, How much money do we actually have from that whole rocket experience, actually? Stop doing that, me! For God's sakes! Wow, we have. Last I checked, we had like eight, eighty k or something like that. Now we are up to like hundred k. Good lord! All right, so uh, going towards this alternative entrance over here. It's actually quite a bit of new area to find here. So this area down here is quite a bit like a maze. There's also a trainer there, right there for us. I don't know what this guy has. Oh, this guy just has the evolved forms of all the starter Pokemon from Kanto, so we're gonna swap over and... Yeah, I took out uh, Stagnog so we can get more experience. Alright, let's take you out and cut you out because I don't want to waste any more time on the video. It's extreme. The encoding's been overloaded, apparently. We need repel anyway, so that's good. Oh, and the encoding over is overloading again. That's not good. That is not good in the slightest. I'm just gonna wait here until it stops. Okay, good. I just, hopefully, I don't know, it might have, I don't know what's going on again. It might be the length of the video, I'm not too sure. You, I'm Wesley of Wednesday, pleased to meet you, please take a souvenir. Take the black belt, it's a very helpful item, I'm going to be putting on Stagnox eventually.